Hi everyone, I'm Ranger Denise, and I love the beach. So today, we're going to be reading The Sun, the Wind, and the Rain by Lisa Westberg-Peters, illustrated by Ted Ran, and permission from Henry Holt and Company. So, this is the story of two mountains. The earth made one, Elizabeth in her yellow sun hat made the other. The earth made its mountains millions of years ago. It began as a pool underground, first fiery hot and soft, then cold and rock hard. Elizabeth made hers on the beach today with a bucket full of wet sand. Eons passed. The earth cracked and shifted until the rock of its mountain slowly rose. Elizabeth quickly piled her sand high. She patted it smoothly, smoothly all the way around. The mountains rose by what's called tectonic action. Did you know that the earth is made up of big chunks of rock called tectonic plates? These plates move bumping into each other. So when mountains are made, it's usually two plates crashing together and moving upwards. The magma underground is also helping to push the ground upward. Sometimes where there is so much magma, it builds up pressure and explodes. That's a volcano. Not all mountains are volcanoes. The earth mountains sparkled against the sky. Furry animals walked in its lush green valleys. Elizabeth's mountain stood almost as tall as she, with twigs for trees and pebbles for animals. Elizabeth was proud of her fine sand mountain. The sun beat down day after day, year after year, on the earth mountain's sharp peaks. The wind howled through its canyons. Elizabeth's mountain baked in the afternoon heat. The breeze loosened a few grains of sand and blew them into Elizabeth's eyes and hair. Countless rainstorms pounded the earth mountain. The water seeped into its rocks, making it crumble, then tumble into small streams. An afternoon shower blew it in suddenly, and Elizabeth watched as the water began to destroy the mountain that she worked so hard to build. Her tears fell as freely as the rain. When the big mountains started breaking apart and Elizabeth's sand mountain broke apart, that is called erosion. Erosion can happen by water, wind, ice, sunlight, and heat, fire, and even humans can cause erosion too. It is anything that breaks down a big material into a much smaller and even tiny material. So all of the sand here at the beach came from erosion. These tiny grains of sand used to be part of bigger landforms like mountains and rocks. They are carried down to the beach by our rivers. The small streams rushed together to become a raging river. The river gouged a deep valley. It ground the earth's mountains, rough rocks into smooth pebbles. Elizabeth could see the rain carving little valleys into her mountain. Tiny rivers carried the sand down the beach. As the river flowed away from the earth mountain, it ground pebbles into sand and dumped the sand on a broad plain. Then it emptied into the sea. Elizabeth saw the sand from her mountain spread silently into small fans. She wiped away her tears. In just a blink of earth time, the earth mountain treated rocks for sand, jagged peaks for flat layers. After a few minutes, the shower was over. Elizabeth's mountain was just a bump on the beach. The thick and heavy layers of sand sank down, down, down into the earth until they were squeezed into layers of sandstone. Elizabeth scooped up a handful of sand from one of the small fans on the beach. 
She smiled. It was wet and hard, just right. This time she hurried, for the sun was dropping in the sky. The layers you see here are from millions and millions of years of rock piling on top of each other. The pattern you see here are called striations. Striations as in stripes. Each layer is like a time capsule, as every layer tells their own story of what the land at the time was like and when the layer was created. The earth cracked and shifted again, bending and breaking the sandstone. Layers slowly rose to become a new mountain. Elizabeth finished her, her new sand mountain. She brushed sand off her hands, picked up her bucket, and walked back up the beach. Elizabeth is walking on the new earth mountain. She steps carefully up the steep path from the beach. When she stops to rest, she sees a smooth mound of sand far below. It looks very small. Did you know that the Santa Monica Mountains are pretty new mountains? They are new because they are a younger mountain range. They are about 16 million years old. Older mountains can be from 40 million years old to 480 million years old. As she turns to leave, Elizabeth reaches out to touch the sandstone wall. Tiny grains of sand fall on her shoulders. She brushes them off and watches them fall to the ground, where they will stay for just a while. In the sun, the wind, and the rain. Now, we want to see the story of your mountain. Draw a picture, or next time you're at the beach, build a sand mountain and have an adult send us a picture. Tell us your mountain story. Does your mountain stand tall with valleys and furry animals? Or is your mountain eroded from the wind and rain? Does your mountain have smooth or sharp peaks? Or does it have many layers and patterns? Thank you for joining us today for Reading with a Ranger. Uh, we'll see you next time.